Hey folks, Dr. Fawaz Albadani from The Wellness Way in Pleasant. Today we're going to be talking about the connection between cholesterol and heart attacks. Now, does high cholesterol cause heart attacks? The answer might surprise you. Like I mentioned in previous videos, that the whole idea of cholesterol causing heart attacks started in the 1950s. To get more detail about that, you can watch the video I, sh uh, I published earlier about the history of cholesterol. Like we had mentioned in previous videos, that according to the American Heart Association, cholesterol itself isn't bad. So, and what the National Institute of Health said that cholesterol is found in every cell in the body, without it, we cannot live. Research shows that 50% of people who had heart attacks or is having heart attacks uh, have a normal or low cholesterol level and LDL. A research was done following people in their 60s with an average total cholesterol of 330 as compared to people with normal to low cholesterol. And the research found that the group with high cholesterol have 30% reduced rate of death. Another study followed a group for 20 years and similar result, results were found. In previous videos, I talked about cholesterol function in the body and, and the healing and in the cell membrane. As we grow old, we, do, do you think we need more uh, cholesterol and we have more demand to heal? Absolutely. Who needs more healing, a 20-year-old man or a 70-year-old man? Absolutely, the 70 year old man needs more healing and their cholesterol would be higher. You might be thinking that I like cholesterol to be high. Again, I don't. But high cholesterol means a physiological stress, and we need to find that physiological stress and fix that problem so your body can lower, lower your cholesterol naturally. Folks, if you have not signed up for our upcoming live event about cholesterol, well, you will get more detailed explanation of what cholesterol levels are and how you can detect if you have potential damage to your arteries before, before it manifests into arthrosclerosis and blocks. Don't wait till it's bad enough or serious enough to do something about it. Take care of your body because it's the only place you have to live in. Join us May 24th at 6.30 p.m. in our office in Pleasanton. I'll see you all there. In the next video, we'll talk about what cholesterol test can tell you and how it's not enough to prevent heart problems. Thank you.